Hello, my name is Jonathan Cunningham and I'm the Director of Storm Consultancy. We provide a range of services all the way from environmental uh, consultancy all the way through to health and safety, fire regulation and staff training. Today I brought you on site just to have a look at what uh, an asbestos pre-demolition survey looks like and the sort of things that your inspector or indeed your surveyor should be looking. So if you're looking for a, a pre-demolition survey or an old Type 3, this is what you're looking for. First thing you've got to understand that it is, uh, it is very destructive. We've got to go into the building fabric to try and uncover the dark secrets of asbestos. So if you follow me, just the sort of thing that we've actually had to do today. First, you can see here, all the window sills, all the mantles, all the actual frames being removed. And that's because certainly in the 1960s, 70s and certainly 80s, uh, a lot of asbestos was used as packing, particularly as window sills. And that's what we've, we've done there. Likewise, on this window here, we've completely removed and what we're looking for is also to see if it's ever been used as packing. Come this way, you can see the sort of debris around the place, so it is very destructive. Just see here, we've not try and identify if there's any um, packing that's been used as the, uh, on the lintels. And so you see there, that all that is just a piece of wood, but more commonly enough, um, it might have also been, it might have also been uh, a piece of asbestos. Likewise, the window sills here, window frames, it's basically satisfied that there isn't any further possible asbestos. And here, just have a look in terms of the floor. All floors, ceilings and walls have got to be penetrated. And in this particular case, as you can see here, what we've done, we've penetrated into the uh, subterranean area just to see whether or not there has been any uh, insulation uh, below the, uh, the concrete floor. So that just gives you an idea. That's the sort of things that you should be looking for if you commission a Type 3 or a pre-demolition survey. Thank you very much.